Hey, as you all, I know, love to just hear my musings. Um, I had some thoughts this last week I wanted to share. So I have a really great um, guy that has communicated with me, and his name's Dennis. And this last week, his long, long-time partner died. And we have discussed this leading up to it and getting prepared for this death because they have very little means um, it was a, just a financial situation that he was concerned about and on top of the grief of losing his partner and they both had health issues so they couldn't actually reside together for a very long time either because they both had to have care, specialty care and so um, Peter had died just recently and it was a very sad day and I felt my heart broke for Dennis as he maneuvered through those first hours and, and days and um, he knew it was going to be just the lowest priced option that they could do for um, a disposition and so just thinking about that and you know a lot of times I'm asked why are things so expensive or why are things this and you know it's not that we want to charge a lot of money always and that we need to make money but we kind of do need to make money in order for a business to run and I know people understand this but I think stopping and thinking about it helps you to understand um, if we ran the business um, doing things for free for a lot of people then is it fair to the people who are paying and will that actually allow the business to subsist because it more than likely wouldn't if we're putting out a lot of efforts and merchandise and, and things for people at no cost it's got to be paid for somewhere so you know if we can get like the gas company on board to not charge the funeral home if we can get the electric company and the distributors and all these other people that we have to pay <laughs> to be on board then we can start doing things at lower cost um, I'm going to get do a video coming up about, you know, when the basically state needs to pay for burials and how that works and financially what that looks like because essentially that rolls back then onto the taxpayers and out of the funds of the government and things. And so, you know, looking at how when a funeral home does do something at no cost or very low cost because the family doesn't take care of somebody, what that looks like in numbers. But at Peter's death, I started just really thinking about like, I wish that I could, well, one, be there to help take care of him, but two, I wish that we could care for people um, at a very minimal cost, but you know, even $100 for some people is, is too much. And I completely understand that. Um, so even a $2,000 cremation is a lot, even a $10,000 funeral is a lot. That is a lot of money um, for anybody, whether you are, you know, well-to-do or not. Um, it is still a substantial amount of money. So um, have a little grace <laughs> um, for funeral homes, at least some of them, that would love to help and that do help because there are funeral homes that do handle those calls for the counties that nobody else wants to take care of because they do just you know write it off essentially at the end of the year because they're doing it at no cost so have a little grace because you don't know what the financials are of the funeral home and how they really are operating and who they are truly helping because there may be a lot more going on than you know about so just a little thought from me, um, and we are going to talk, I know and I understand that funeral homes are not all good and that funeral directors are not all good. So we're going to talk about it that in some upcoming videos as well. But as you go about your day, um, if you are in that mode, if I could ask you to just have a little good thought towards Dennis and maybe a little prayer for Peter if that's your thing. Um, they are two special people that I have um, come to know and I would appreciate that for them. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.